What's up guys, Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to spin on your snowboard and how to progress from 180 to 360 and 540. I'll show you the best areas to practice spins on and I'll break down the three skills you have to know to spin on your snowboard. The best area to learn to spin is not on a jump in the park, but on sidewalls and side hits outside the park. These areas are perfect for learning the basic spinning skills and are very low consequence if you fall. The three basic skills that create spin are line, wind, and pop. Line is riding into the spin on your snowboard's edge. Line creates a solid platform on your snowboard's edge to spin from. Wind is your upper body winding up, then rotating. Wind creates spinning momentum that is carried into the air and gets the spin around. Pop is a level jump off both feet. Pop is what gets your board into the air and gives you the time in the air to spin. The combination of these three skills is how you do any spin. For your first spin, find a mellow sidewall. Here, you can learn to 180 and 360. For front side, the line in is on your heel edge. Wind up by turning your upper body back, then rotating forward to create spin. Pop even off your heels to get your board into the air. If you're confused about the direction to spin, you always want the front of your board to spin uphill. For backside, the line in is on your toe edge. You wind up by facing forward, then rotating back to create spin. Pop even off your toes to get your board into the air. If you're having problems getting your spins around, make sure you're using your head to look around and help complete the spin. There are eight different ways you can spin on sidewalls, front and back 180, front and back 360, and then you can learn those four spins switch. Once you've mastered sidewalls, you can step up to side hits. Side hits will give you more time in the air to spin and let you ride out the spin with more speed. For side hits, always check and make sure the landing is clear of other riders. The first spin to learn off side hits are 180s. The line for the 180 is mellow on your snowboard's edge. The landing for the 180 will be on the opposite edge as the takeoff. Keep your wind for the 180 mellow so you don't overspin. The pop is also mellow for the 180 and if you pop level off the takeoff, then you'll land level on the landing. Challenge your 180s by doing them off different edges and by twisting, which is an alternative to wind up, but will still get the 180 around. A common problem is committing to the landing. Make sure your switch riding is strong so you can fully commit. When you're ready to step up to 360, find a side hit with lots of room and steep enough to help you get some air. Your line wind and pop are gonna be a bit more aggressive to help you get the 360 around. The key for the 360 is timing. Hold your wind up until just before you pop so you carry that momentum into the air and around 360. Sucking your knees up in the air will also give you more time in the air and help you absorb the landing. If you find yourself sliding out the landing, then you may be sliding off the takeoff. Once you've mastered 180s and 360s, front side and back side and switch, step up to 540s. Find a side hit with a steep enough takeoff that will give you lots of time in the air to get the spin around. The line in needs to be clean on your edge and with some speed. The wind needs to be aggressive to create spin and times perfectly with the pop to carry momentum into the air and get the 540 around. Visualize the landing of the 540 ahead of time so you know when to come out of the spin and prepare for the landing. A common problem for 540s is not being able to get that last 90 degrees, so you may have to twist your body to help complete the spin. 
If you're having problems with spins, you can always look back at the line, wind, and pop and see where you can improve. There are at least eight spins to learn off side walls and small side hits, so take your time to learn each one before moving up in size. When you're ready to take your spins into the park, check out more videos on spinning in the trick playlist. If you're not quite ready for spins, there's also videos to build your skills up to spinning. For three bonus tips on this video, check out the link to my Patreon page. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.